greetings. This is Ambika, your biology master teacher, right here on the super amazing platform of Vedantu, which is Vedantu 9th and 10th English. Okay, so today we are going to be discussing something that will really, really benefit you all. Um, basically, an exam oriented topic, as you can see it, a 60 day strategy for ICSE class 10 biology. Okay, of course, um, you might all have a lot of questions in mind when I tell you the topic is going to be this because you might come and tell me, ma'am, is the timetable actually finalized? Um, or uh, is there any meaning? Is there any point in making a strategy like this? Well, children, as I always tell you, let's put all that anxiety aside okay whenever the timetable is going to be declared uh, as final and a final announcement is made from your icse board we'll deal with it then but right now there is no harm in going as per plan assuming that your exams are going to be starting perhaps in the next two to three months okay so here we get started for those of you who are not in icsc class 10 also i'm sure this will benefit you at least it will give you insights into how you can modify this and make your own strategy make your own timetable okay here we start as always starting with a positive quote you get what you work for and not what you wish for always remember that okay so basically what i'm trying to tell you is um i can be a very lazy student and i can wish that i could always score 100 percent marks um but i'm doing the work only for probably like barely 40 percent so i would get only 40 percent because i'm working only for that much although i wish to get 100 percent i wouldn't get that right so always remember you get what you work for and not what you wish for okay so starting off, as with the case of any exam, make sure you know your syllabus. Now, especially in biology, I have put in all the chapters here for you. We have listed out all the chapters for you. You have three major units, which are basic biology, plant physiology, and human physiology and anatomy. What do they include? Of course, as you can see here, basic biology as per 2021 board exam update, you will have just two chapters you can even include them you can even club them and uh, consider them to be one chapter if that's how uh, you want it to be that's completely all right um, but because they do have um, enough content to be considered as independent chapters let's just put them like that okay so considering this is going to be the plan you will have a total of nine chapters okay cell cycle and cell division structure of chromosome both coming under basic biology under plant physiology you have absorption by roots transpiration and photosynthesis under human physiology we will be discussing circulatory system excretory system nervous system which does include sense organs also let me mention that here okay nervous system including sense organs i'm including this i'm i'm, I'm writing uh, that here specifically because this is one most commonly most frequently asked question by many students many children are like ma'am um, you mentioned nervous system but then according to the syllabus sense organs is also there so why are you not talking about that children always remember sense organs is considered to be part of nervous system again if you want it to be considered as a separate chapter that's completely up to you okay leave it to you now uh, because a part uh, I mean uh, unlike NCRT uh, your ICSE board has got, may have different, uh, I think about two to three different prescribed textbooks, right? Selena and um, a couple of others. So whatever your schools have been following, go by that. Chapter division, go by what your school has been following or more importantly, what is comfortable for you, okay? Um, and then of course, the endocrine system. So going by my division, we are going to be having nine chapters in all in your ICSE biology 2021 board exam now always remember to be a student with a plan but always remember only planning is not going to help you plan with action make a quick plan make a smart plan get into action right away okay so let us look at what a 60-day plan can ideally be Imagine your entire syllabus to be a giant pizza, okay? So uh, uh, as per my division, the pizza, the giant pizza is going to have nine slices. Nine slices making up one giant pizza, 
okay so um, imagine it to be like however you want it to be as in uh, i would basically think about one of it to be to have a double cheese topping um, another one to have um, uh, only tomato topping another one perhaps to have a mushroom toppings another one to have my favorite tandoori paneer uh, spicy sort of toppings um, and anything anything that you want cheesy capsicum toppings um, and whatever you want it to be like <coughs> but go as creative as you like and assign um, if you just want it to go as per your wildest imagination just assign the toppings as per the complexity of the concepts as per your imagination okay all this just to add some spice and masala <coughs> right children okay now remember as per our plan a 60 day plan and nine chapters in hand 60 divided by nine for each chapter you're going to be requiring 6.6 days. Okay, forget about the 0.6. Let us look at it as one chapter being um, aiming to complete it in six days. Okay, leave the 0.6 aside. One chapter, let's take six days in all for one full chapter. This way, for nine chapters, for nine chapters, you're going to be requiring, yes, uh, check your basic math. 6 times 9, that's got to be 54 days for 9 chapters. What about the remaining 6 days? Remaining 6 days, use it only for testing, practice, whatever you want to use it for. Yes, that's about it. All right, now what do you do in these 6 days? Because 6 days for one chapter, um, it may seem like a lot. But remember how I have planned it for you. In each of those chapters, six days, there are three steps that you must include. Understand the chapter. Secondly, practice. And finally, solve past year's questions. Or you can even go anti-clockwise. Understand solving previous year's questions and then practice completely up to you. Um, and again, I leave the freedom to you as to how many days you want to assign for each of these steps. Basically, it could be two days for understanding, two days for practice, two days for past year's questions. Or if you want to learn a particular chapter from scratch, maybe three days for understanding, one day for practice, maybe two days for past year's questions. Or it could be three, uh, four plus one plus one. However you want it to be children, I leave that entirely to you. But, but my only rule here is one very simple thing. At the end of these six days that you spend on a particular chapter, I want each of you to be in a position, in such a position that you will not have to come back and revisit that chapter again. You never know anything. Like, for example, if ICSE board, of course, this is not going to happen. But see, for example, worst case, ICSE board is going to come and tell you tomorrow your exams are going to begin. What will you do? I don't want you guys to panic. Right. So let's be prepared for even the worst case scenario. Ensure that you use the six days for each chapter in such a way that you will not have to come back and revisit that chapter ever again. <clears throat> okay, basically make the best use of those six days. All right, so do this for all your nine chapters. That means your 54 days are taken up, right? And now it's important to check frequently if your strategy is working. How do you actually do that? Plan, do, which is be in action, check and act basically to um, when I say act what I mean is do something about the problems once you identify certain problem areas in your overall planning okay so basically the idea I have given you the guidelines now it's completely up to you to modify it as per your requirements um, maybe you say for example um, you might uh, want to spend only three days for the chapter cell cycle and cell division you might want to spend uh, three days for structure of chromosomes. Completely your choice. Uh, maybe you want to spend um, seven days for the chapter photosynthesis. Okay, go ahead and do this. But make sure you have a balance. Overall, spread it out. Have a balance. You are the boss. Children, identify your strengths and weaknesses and go about this checking aspect of the strategy. Okay, make sure you find a solution to all your problems. Do not copy paste what another person is doing. Do not copy paste what I'm telling you here either. I'm only here, children, to give you a basic set of guidelines so that you know where to get started, how to go about it, right? That's about it. 
and remember to visit the link in the description box below and the pinned comment we've got amazing courses for you at vedantu pro uh, vedantu pro subscription is out there for you and that too apply the coupon code ambpro and remember to avail them at the best discounts but the best possible rates because it's not something that i want you to suddenly come up with a realization on on the eve of the exam okay so remember this play smart right now and children if you have enjoyed this video please do click on the like button right now and my humble request is share it with all your friends icsc 10 cbsc 10 icsc 9 cbsc 9 um cbsc 11 12 isc 11 12 whoever it may be any student anyone you think would benefit from this please share it with them okay and uh, remember to stay subscribed to our channel vedantu 9th and 10th english because we have a lot more in store for you in addition to this we will keep coming up with a lot of inspirational motivational tips and tricks and a lot more series for you in the days and weeks to come right guys and of course on instagram as well um keep following me on instagram at ambika underscore vedantu even over there, we will keep putting up a lot of useful posts for you on a regular basis. All right, children, and I want you, uh, I want you all to take probably like a couple of minutes and um, maybe put down your thoughts, uh, your feedback, basically, what you think about this plan, your honest feedback. And um, on top of that, more importantly, I would love to hear uh, your version of this strategy. Okay, so put them down in the comment section below and I would love uh, it if everyone else can benefit from that. All right, guys. So take care, stay happy and stay healthy. I will meet you in yet another interesting session. Bye-bye.